seen so much in my time. I've been through so much in my time. My name's Scott. I had childhood leukemia 29 years ago. I'm a survivor. I've made it through and I'd like to share my story with you. I was simply found to have cancer after my mother was cutting my hair at the age of three. When she went to reposition my face, she left bruises on my body. She was scared and we did not have a family medical doctor at the time. The next part, what to do. After I was taken to Children's Hospital, I was put on chemotherapy. They instilled a central catheter in my chest where the drugs went in. Chemo, very hard on your system. I was on two types of chemotherapy, thygwani and adriamycin. Both were very toxic to the heart and the rest of the organs in the body. This is the first time I've mentioned my sister, my older sister, Michelle. Michelle was an exact match for bone marrow. Unlike blood, bone marrow has to match not only the right type, but the right tissue type. There's so many people out there right now waiting for a donor. My sister Michelle was an exact match. It's a miracle in itself. The procedure will surely go on now. 1,000 rads of cobalt radiation over an entire three-year-old's body in a short four-hour span. I still have nightmares over it. I can still feel it. It's like the flu over and over again but a hundred times stronger. And it's like being shocked with electricity. I just remember being so sick. Well, the transplant worked. I mean, here I am. My sister and I were given many spinal taps that week. One for compatibility, second of all, to determine where my blood counts were. During the radiation process, I was in a thousand rads of cobalt radiation for four hours. It zeroed out my red and white blood cells. My sister's new bone marrow was then inserted into me through an IV. It looked like a simple process, but what happens is when the body recognizes new tissue, it goes through rejection. <sighs> like I said, I have many complications from the radiation. For starters, I'm four foot eleven inches. Thirty one years old, four foot eleven inches. My dad is six foot. His brothers are six foot. The other side of the family, well, just about as tall. Let me run down the list and we're going to talk about these in just a minute. I'm diabetic. I have hypothyroidism. I have arthritis. My pituitary gland doesn't work. And I guess the two biggest things in the last four years from the long-term effects of the radiation, I've had two heart attacks and three strokes. Sometimes I just get so angry with people. How can they be so shallow? It's not my fault I had cancer. I'm not normal because I'm short. Let me tell you something. If people would go through half of what I've been through, they'd understand. But no, people, people are so insecure, 
They got to poke fun at someone else. I was at the hospital last week working. People laughed at me when I walked into the room. I'm a registered nurse. It's so frustrating. Let's look at, look at my size. They don't ask me what I've been through. I've been through two heart attacks. Three strokes. I laid in the hospital. I've spent more time in the hospital than most people spend in, an entire lifetime in church. Other than that, I don't have any regrets about my cancer. <clears throat> hey, I had real fun making this video for you. Eh, got a little spacey there. Just to clarify, I am very happy in life. I'm very happy to be alive. I'm a positive role model. That's why I became a nurse. I'm out there helping people, telling them my story. I get a little frustrated. Who doesn't? I thank God for my healing. I want you to know out there, if you watch this, I'm praying for you. If you have cancer, that is the scariest word you can ever be told you have. But I'm not anything special. I'm just a little Scotty. Working my way through life. I just, uh, now I'm going to have a few clips showing me growing up. You can see the glasses. You're going to see the prednisone. I feel real good these days. I work 12 hour days. I put in a good day's work. And uh, I'm traveling the United States as a travel nurse, seeing places. The thing with cancer, don't give up. Hang in there. Have a positive outlook. You pray, and I'll be praying for you. Godspeed, and all my love. Mm -hmm.